Hi, my name is Matt. I'm the lead technical guy on the Raise keyboard made by Digna. And you've probably seen from our uh, web presence, we're quite focused on targeting towards gamers. But the keyboard's not just for gamers, it's good for computer programmers as well. And I want to make this video, or maybe a short series of videos, to show some of the cool things that you can do. So first off, we're going to have a look at this program called Kaleidoscope Focus. Kaleidoscope is the name of the open source firmware we're using and uh, I can use it to query what's happening on the keyboard and at the moment I've got a plugin that lets me talk to the LEDs. So for example I can set all the LEDs to be red, there you go, um, or set them all to be off and I can look at an individual LED that's off at the moment and I can turn it on to let's say white. There you go, see this one? Turn it on. Maybe white's not a good colour. Let me try blue, red, green, blue. there we go, and turn them all off again. So let's look how we can put that together into a simple program that will allow us to flash the keyboard when a long running job's just finished on the command line. So here I've got a um, little Python script, I've got a, um, a, com a, def a function definition here that lets me run commands easily, and then when the program starts, it just opens up a serial and then for a number of loops, sets the LEDs to one colour and then sets them all to another colour. So let's have a look at compiling the firmware and then flashing once it's done. You can see that once the firmware is finished compiling, the keyboard's going to start flashing. There we go. So if that was a really long job, then that's quite useful for me to get a status awareness of what's happening. Let's take another look at something slightly more complicated. Here I'm using Uptime Robot to monitor all my internet services uh, and at the moment we can see that the website for Digma is running fine. So if I show you this little program, it fetches the current status from Uptime Robot and then for each of the LEDs either sends a colour that is green if it's good or bright red if it's bad down here. So if I run that now, fetches, checks them all and you can see these have all turned green here. And if I break one if I break the website by just pausing the monitor, okay, and run that again. And you can see that the number three key, the service for the Digma website's now gone red. And of course, I can put that as a cron job here so that every minute the keyboard gets updated with the latest service. So I hope that gives you a bit of an insight into some of the other things we can do with all these RGBs we've got on the keyboard and a bit of an insight into how the keyboard's not just for gamers. Thank you.